Hey everyone, it's Saya, and I'm back with another zombie makeup video. And of course, I'm gonna be doing it on Dika's arm, even though she didn't give me permission to do it. I still gonna, I'm still gonna do it. So here's the materials you're gonna need. And just like in my other zombie makeup video, I'm gonna be using the pencil, the foundation, um, some fake blood and some of my makeup, well, my makeup kit, and my Elmer's glue, which is not special, and some of this toilet paper. Okay, so I'm gonna be using her hand, and we're gonna put three layers of glue and toilet paper, but first, you're gonna have to get a whole bunch of glue on her hand. Is this even open? No. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to spread it around with the pencil. Okay, now I'm gonna be adding the toilet paper. As I like to do it, I like to rip off the top layer of this. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I'm like patting it down so I can see the glue and I'm ripping off the edges like it did in my last video. And now I'm going to be adding the second layer and I d I'm gonna be doing this like I did with the first layer, just add a whole bunch of glue. And spread it around with the pencil. Now I'm just adding the second layer like I did before. Now I'm gonna rip off the edges. Just make, basically do the same steps again. And now for the third layer. Just do the same steps what you, just do the same steps like you did with the first and the second layer. Okay, so here's my third layer, and I'm almost done with it. <coughs> and after this, hold on, let me rip off these edges. Okay, so now, okay, so now we're gonna make the bones of the finger. So you just wanna get a toilet paper and roll it up into a long stick. Okay, now that you have your toilet paper stick, you are going to measure it so it's not longer than the scar. And if it is, you are gonna rip it. Hold on. Okay, now I'm gonna measure it where the finger is. Get to the side. Okay, so. Okay, so you are gonna need three of these because you're gonna need them to go on each finger like this. But before you do that, you're gonna get some glue and put it where the um, sticks of the paper towels are gonna go. Okay, now we're gonna stick it on. All you have to do is put it, put the sticks where you want them to be. Okay, now we're gonna put some foundation on. But you're gonna only put it on the edges because these sticks are actually bones. And you know how bones are white? So let me put them on the edges. You just wanna spread it out. Now that you're done with the foundation, it should look like this. Okay, so now we're gonna put bruising around the hands with the makeup kit. As you see, I've been using it. 
Okay, so first you're going to be using the purple around the scar. Now I'm going to blend the red with the purple. So you want to get some red. You just kind of rub it in there. A little bit more red. Okay, so now we're going to add some black inside of the bones and on the outside of the bones right here. I'm going to be using some black cream right here. Okay, so I'm just going to put it on my finger and just spread it inside of the wounds. So once you put the blood on, it actually looks like it's bleeding. And of course, while we're at, why we're adding the black is because we're actually making a 3D effect that it's actually going to be bleeding. Right over there. Okay. We're going to be adding the thick blood. Okay, so we're going to put it inside between the bones again and on the sides of the bones and also around the scar because you're going to just make it look like it's just pouring out and you can never go wrong with blood. You can put as much blood as you want on there. I should just pour it in there. Okay. Now I'm just going to be spreading it inside of the scars. And I'm going to also be doing it on the sides too. Okay, now that I'm done, it should be looking a little bit something like this. Oh my gosh, a zombie just bit me.